Hi guys, welcome to this video of quantitative ability. I am your quantitative ability tutor Kasturi Sanu. Guys, in this video, we are going to discuss about few tips and tricks to solve HCM and LCM problems. If at all you have subscribed to our course in the past 3-4 videos, I have solved various questions which are related with LCM and HCF. But I haven't discussed any shortcut as such. I have taught you all these problems con conceptually. But in this video, we are going to deal with few tips which are going to save your time. So let us begin this video. The first concept is how to calculate LCM of fractions. Whenever we, have, we are to calculate LCM of fractions, all we have to do is to take the LCM of numerator and the HCF of denominator. So please do remember whenever we are given fractions and we are asked to find out the LCM of these fractions, it is equal to the LCM of the numerators and the HCF of denominators. So for example, we are asked to find out the LCM of 5 upon 17, 21 upon 19, and 13 by 21. So now as you can see here the denominators are co-prime numbers. Co-prime meaning the HCF of denominators is 1. They are co-prime. There is nothing in common between 17, 19 and 21. And the LCM of numerator is nothing but 5 into 21 into 13 which is actually the product of the three numbers because all these three numbers are also co-prime. So this comes out as 1365. So the LCM of these numbers is 1365. If at all we are asked instead of finding the LCM, if we are asked to find out the HCF, then the formula of HCF is exactly the opposite. Here we take the HCF of the numerator and the and divide it with the LCM of the denominator. So it is exactly the opposite. We do exactly opposite of what is the formula for LCM. So remember if you have LCM here, then you have LCM at the numerator. If you have HCF here, you have asked HCF, then HCF of the numerator and LCM of the denominator. Now let us see another concept. Find the LCM when the remainder is R. So you are given three or four numbers and you are told that find the LCM when it re when there is the same number, same remainder which is R. Then what you do is you take LCM of the numbers and you add the remainder. Let us solve the problem. Find the LCM of 8, 9, 12, 15 that leaves the same remainder 1 in each case. So all we do is we find the LCM of these 3 numbers, these 4 numbers and we add the remainder to it. So the LCM of 8, 9, 12 and 15 is nothing but 8 into 9 into 5 which comes out as 360. So we add 1 to it and we get the answer as 361. So if you divide 361 by 8, you will get a remainder of 1. If you divide it by 9, by 12 and by 15, you will get the same remainder which is 1. Now let us see another concept. Find the LCM when the remainder is different in each case. So in this case, we have different remainder. All we do is we subtract that particular remainder and we find out the value. So the value is going to be the same. Now, for example, in this case, we have 18 and the remainder is 5. So, 18 minus 5 comes out as 13. Then, 27 and the remainder is 14. So, 27 and 14, the value comes out as 13. And 36 and 23. So, the value again comes out as 13. So, this value of R comes out as 13 by using this particular formula. Then we find out the LCM of these four numbers, these three numbers and we subtract the number 13. Whatever is the R value, we subtract it from that particular number. So the LCM of 18, 26 and 36 is nothing but 108 and we have to subtract the value 13 from it. So the correct answer 
108 minus 13 comes out as 95. So the correct answer is option number B which is 95. Now let us see the third, fourth concept. Now we saw how to find out the LCM but in this case we are asked how to find out the HCF when we are given the same remainder. So all we do is we subtract each number from each other and we will get three set of numbers. So we find the HCF of the subtracted numbers. So here we have 62, 132 and 237. The question asks what is the greatest number that can divide 62, 132, 237 that leaves the same remainder in each case. So we have 132 minus 62 which is 70. Then we have 237 minus 132. And lastly, we have 237 minus 62, which leaves us with 175. So all we have to do is find out the HCF of 70, 105 and 175. So here we can find out that 7 into 5 which is 35 is the HCF. So the HCF comes out as 35 and the correct answer here is option number C. Now let us see the fifth concept. So we saw the last case wherein we were dealing with the same reminder. Here we have to deal with a case which leaves a different remainder every time. So if at all we are given three numbers then the divisor is going to leave a remainder of R1 with N1. It is going to leave a remainder of R2 with N2. And with N3, it is going to leave a remainder of R3. So in that case, we subtract each remainder from that particular number to find out the HCF. So here in the problem, we are asked to find out the HCF of 42, 49 and 56. That leaves different remainder 0, 1 and 2 respectively. So let us find out the numbers first. 42 minus 0 is 42. 49 minus 1 is 48. And 56 minus 2 is 54. So here we have 7 into 6. 6 into 8. 6 into 9. So everywhere we had 6 in common. So the HCF comes out as 6. Now let us see the last concept. If at all we are given the ratio of two numbers, then that ratio is nothing but the value that is the number itself upon the HCF. So here we are given the two numbers are, which are in the ratio 2 is to 3 and we are given the HCF which is 13. We have to find out the value of A and B of those two numbers. So the ratio, the first ratio is 2. The number in the first ratio is 2. So 2 is nothing but the value which is A upon the HCF which is 13. So we have A is 26 and similarly we have B which is 39. Now let us see another problem which is related with the same concept. Two numbers are in the ratio 4 is to 7. Their HCF is 15. Find the difference between the two numbers. So we have the two numbers as 15 into 4 and the second number is 15 into 7. Obviously because HCF is nothing but the common multiple that is present in both of these numbers. So when we are talking about ratio, the first number is going to be 4x and the second number is going to be 7x. So here we have x which is in common and x is nothing but the HCF. So the HCF is given as 15. So all we do is we multiply the first number of the uh, ratio with the HCF and we get that particular number when we multiply the second number of the ratio with HCF we get the second number so here we have 60 and here we have 105 so the difference between these two is 45 and hence we have got that the difference between 
A and B difference between the two numbers is 45. So these were few important concepts. I thought I should make a video which is going to summarize the important concept in the chapter LCM and HCF. This chapter is really a simple chapter and you all have learned the concept of HCF and LCM during your school times itself. So there is not much to talk about in this topic but do go through this summary video wherein we have discussed the different questions that can be asked related with different topic, different concepts. So with this concept, I am ending this particular video. Stay tuned to our telegram channel and if you like this video, please do press the like button and share it with share this video with all your friends and do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.